Everybody start. Three, two, one. I was a big Star Wars fan. It was like part of my childhood. Now having been in them, it's just more personal to me in a way that uh, it's kind of a surreal thing. I hadn't seen them until after I got this movie. I wasn't really a fan of it. Um, it was on my radar, radar, but just seemed to sort of pass me by. As in I'd seen the films, but that was sort of as far as it went. I got in deep. Yeah. I got in deep. Uh, we did uh, like dress up parties. When I signed up, JJ gave me the original originals on like a huge file size so I could watch them on a big screen, and that kind of made me a fan. I've, I've read Star Wars comics with alternate beginnings. I've, I've got a book that is based on the first draft of George Lucas's Star Wars script. It's a comic book, and Chewie was this ugly thing. He didn't look right. I think Han Solo was an alien as well. I was a fan from the age of six. There was something about this group of misfits. All the characters were so definite and so different from anything I knew. The idea of those two robots in the desert, that made my mind sort of explode. I couldn't really understand what it was, but it was so captivating. We are the spark that'll light the fire that'll burn the First Order down. Come on! What I loved is my parents, being actors, weren't particularly into effects movies, and they were obsessed with Star Wars because for them it was about characters. It's quite delicious to then, you know, get to be part of this and have a director whose focus was about the characters and the humanity of the story. This was wonderful. Kathy Kennedy, you know, runs Lucasfilm and also all the folks at Lucasfilm. They really encouraged me and all the filmmakers to find what was personal about the story we wanted to tell and to dig into that. They recognized that's what was going to give the movie the, the heart, was whoever was making it, connecting with it. I need someone to show me my place in all this.